uh, right now, um, Young Blue, man, Young, Young Blue, you really fucking up the Mo3 album right now. Because, you know, uh, whatever you got going on with them, you knew who you were signed to before you signed to them people. You know what I'm saying? You met you you got you got two of my favorite people in the world in tour. Mm. He got Boosie and who? Gazi. Gazi in tour. Yeah. Young, so you don't appreciate him doing young that. Young Blue, you know who you assigned to? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah, yeah. So I still got albums coming out. I still got movies coming out. So my base concern is Mo3 to tell, tell a story with my partner, Roy Lee. But, you know, on the side, I'm still going to give people chicks. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going to help people out and give people chicks. I'm still going to do this. Um, the way I'm putting out this nigga Mo3 album right now, every every video is a short, a short movie. Can yeah, you, you keep teasing everybody because that's why everybody be in them comments trying to say, hey, but when this, is it this, coming? This, this, it's not me, though. I'm just giving people hope. I'm letting people stay still. It's not me, though. You know, uh, uh, right now, um, Young Blue, man, Young, Young Blue, you really fucking up the Mo3 album right now because, you know, uh, whatever you got going on with them, you knew who you were signed to before you signed to them people. You know what I'm saying? You mess you you got you got two of my favorite people in the world in tour. Mm. He got Boosie and who? Gazi. Gazi in tour. Yeah. Young, so you don't appreciate him doing young that. Young Blue, you know who you were signed to? Young what did he okay? And this you is, think that and that's pretty much causing some the waves to flow different at, at the whole lake. Yeah, man, you know, you know. At Empire. This is coming from a person who don't know, really know what's going yeah. on with this, okay? So, know. Young Blue, yeah. what did Young Blue do? That's, uh, ain't uh, that Boosie's uh, brother or something, cousin? Nah, you know, it's, oh, it was an artist. Okay, yeah, I thought it was his, yeah, it's, I know it's his artist, yeah, yeah, but I thought they yeah, were nah, family, they nah, not family. Nah. No, his brother or something went and, yeah, uh, went yeah. and signed him off or yeah, something. Yeah, I, I don't know. Cause you say you don't appreciate what he did. That's what uh, he's talking uh, about, they yeah. all under the same, yeah, you know, yeah, like it's umbrella. In, it's in, a, it's, it's in, it's, it's, uh, it's friction. It's a friction right now. Okay. Because uh, now, you know, we need Boosie to keep on doing it. Songs with Mo Three. If people want to hear Boosie and Mo Three, right? Yeah. We still getting mm -hmm. plaques after after that combination. Yeah. So you true. know, at the end of the day, we gonna ride that combination out to to people. You know, some people for people they 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 listen to that every night. I don't know. They can't wait for a Boosie and Mo no, Three song to come out. I, I love you it. You know what I'm saying? So you know, uh, uh, with that uh situation going on, it be, put too many people in the middle. Then you know, uh. It's just a fucked up situation. We could. We I didn't even think of it. Right? We could, I, I get what you're coming from. So that's holding up the yeah, album. We, we, well, we it ain't just it. holding up the album. It's holding up the way that, like, if he's trying to deal with Boosie. Yeah, he, I need he, them talking. He need them to be able yeah, to talk. They into it. Yeah, we mm. shoot. They need shoot videos. Got that? They got a song called "Way in the Water." Powerful motherfucker. Uh, we could have. Yeah, we could have picked up. They could have picked up the option. Had another Mo three and Boosie another album. Badass to Mo three too. It's just one of them days again. Yeah. But at the end of the day With them into it Over some goofy shit Then you know That fuck up the whole legacy And everything The preparation That I put around The whole Mo3 album Yeah You know some niggas Who hurt me They hurt me a couple of bitches who hurt me, they hurt me. The jury don't want me to make it. Make it. The DA, I know that he worked. Because at the end of the day, you know, when, when the last album came out, I called Booster. Booster helped me promote it. You know, Booster got them songs on there. Like, nigga made it to the top. Why they won't change on me? Looking like a leak. Watch cause a blood down brick. Booster riding around to you know, you know, Booster Booster's a big uh part of Mo3 uh career. I, I had to make up my mind, my mind. I took that weight on my shoulder. I'd have been down. So long, so long. Sleeping from sofa to sleep. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So when he, when he not happy, then he put me in the middle. Then you got a person that sit there and took a chance to change Mo3 life. And, and they into it, man. They make a whole bunch of uh, situ the situations kind of kind of sticky. You think you think they'll ever squash really it? Huh? You think it'll ever be resolved? I, mean, I try to stay out of it. I don't care who did what, how they did that. But at the end of the day, they, they, that's those two of my favorite people in the industry right now. Let me ask you this: uh, Boosie came off uh, about uh, Kodak Black and Six Six Nine doing a song together. Yeah. Nigga, yeah, me up. I wonder how all them Zoles feel, dog. I know them Zoles fucked up right now. Um, did you feel like you, you know, if Six Nine was to want to do something with Bumpy, or would you do it? 
Nigga, he asked me up. I wonder how all them Zoles feel, dog. For a million dollars? Yeah, Bump ain't, considered, Bump ain't no gangster. So he ain't into that? Yeah, nah, he better not be. So that means you could do, you could do, you could work, you could make it happen and you wouldn't have a problem with it because yeah, you yeah. ain't in that lifestyle. Yeah, Bump, I'm telling Bump, Bump, if you ain't no gangster shit, you in that street shit, yeah. Go get that money. Get that money. It was all about changing your family life. But when you go to, when you was raised by them rules, yeah. Ain't no turning back from that. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care what happened in your life. You know what I'm saying? But Kodak act like it was, you know, he just kind of talked a little bit about him on the line I'm doing with a rap. I remember him. when Lil Tim with Vaughn supposed to been doing the song with 6 9 Everybody in the world talked about him. Bad. You know what I'm saying? So uh, when you live by them gangster codes and them street codes, Six nine, you can't even have conversation. Six nine, you know if if six nine and Gunna did a song together, niggas would go crazy. Yeah, but like I said, yeah. in the world, they both they in both the world talk. right now, snitching is not bad to the some people. They don't care to the to the industry now. Nah. You know, uh, you know they catch niggas every day by snitching. People still go listen to them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you know, do you th you uh, okay? Because so. you remember it, snitching. What's the difference? What's the difference to being, and that don't matter no more. What's the difference than having a, a gay homeboy or a snitch homeboy? <laughs> That's a weird question, Rain. <laughs> what? What the hell? What's worse? What's worse to having a gay homeboy or a nigga that snitch in today's time? That's a crazy question, Rain. You know why? Cause it really don't. It, a gay person is is different. What a snitch is something you can violate the code on. A gay uh, person is something that where they struggling with something that's that's de they're dealing if with. You find that Life, your, right? If you find that your main partner is undercover. Okay, let me answer that question. The difference is your your main partner that's undercover, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, he not bringing it to you. He just you know he gay, whatever. That's that that's his business. But when you have a homeboy that's a snitch, he could be snitching on you and you don't even know. Yeah. That's the difference. But yeah, but yeah, you're right about that. But in the culture we live in now, it all don't matter. Why do you think why haven't Boosie been back on Vlad since he came home? He was screaming he was gonna go back, but he ain't went back. I've been waiting on that. He only been back a month. <laughs> but still he said when he got out, I'm feeling I'm on my way, Vlad. He might, you know, they probably did. They probably hold him. Just holding it back. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.